I was hired as a mercenary by the Stormcloaks to help them win the war. I do not care about their petty squabbles. I serve disease. That is my master. I will use the Jagged Crown to leverage myself to gain favor and establish a position within the Empire. Harry, I bless me, and let my foes be reduced to a cesspool that shall spread your wretched blessings. We are back with Lorgan, the Plaguebringer, and uh, he has a decision to make. Will he stick with the Stormcloaks and return the Jagged Crown to perceptively the rightful owners nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or will he uh, will he take it to the Empire um, Lorgan's going with the Empire why um, plan both sides um, whoa his thinking is that by siding with the Empire, it just uh, entrenches him in the side that he feels that would have won in the first place. This is Lorgan's opinion, by the way, not not mine. And uh, he wants to use the crown to leverage um, possibly uh, better things, better things than the Stormcloaks would have offered. So Lorgan does um, know a little bit about the Empire. Let's eat. Let's eat. Um, just for the fact of being an orc, uh, orcs work closely with the Empire. They make the greatest smiths, um, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna head over. I think we're going in the wrong direction. Yes, we are. Let me see something real quick. Okay. Um, here we go. So, yes, Lorgan is a busy, busy boy. He is scheming and uh, backstabbing, but making these plans for a eventual uh power grab for um, for himself um, it appears that Lorgan uh, he is treacherous treacherous but is he loyal um, well it depends it depends who where where the loyalty depends how you ask that question um, Lorgan is fiercely loyal to Periite who has given him this power um, and Namira as well and uh, the, the skeevers, they're just perfect. Um, so yeah, he is he's loyal to them, but he'll scheme his way uh, with, with other people to uh, get them to uh, follow Periite in his own way. Uh, you can see him doing that with um, Hugo. Uh, he, I mean, Hugo's kind of an idiot, in my opinion, but he tricked Hugo in, uh, he settled the dispute, he slaughtered a mercenary group, not a mercenary group, but they were a, uh, uh, a faction that lent Hugo some money, and, uh, Lorgan took care of it, but he also poisoned him, um, or as Lorgan would say, he blessed him, I had the beholder on that one. And uh, Hugo is uh, quite a bit more powerful than he than he was before, and um, he has uh, more purpose, I would say, uh, than he did before. But uh, yeah, the, the the thing I want to point out is <sighs> Lorgan will do whatever he's got to do to get you. To, to uh, believe his shtick, right? That 
that Periite is the true one god. And if you're if he identifies you as he will uh, bless you. Hey, we have more uh, wrecking people. Oh, oh no! No 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 no! Okay, let's watch out. We are at. Oh, there's a guy. crazy with a dog. What is it called? A what? Dra <laughs> golf That's original. Hasim was just here. I wonder how Hasim and Lorgan would get along. I mean, they're both, uh, you know, backstabby type of characters who will do what they got to do to get what they want. But who would play who? I don't know. Would be an interesting... It would be an interesting fight, too. Uh, Lorgan's kind of a berserker. Where Hasim is very stealthy. Uh, he's powerful in his own right. He can hold his own, that's for sure. So I'm not, I'm not sure. The necrofire that... Uh, that Lorgan does would do quite a bit of damage because um, it just it does do fire damage so that would that would suck for come on let's get real there ah. all right let's jump over dim 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 mountains Hey, there's a uh, almost a winter fell uh, winter hold by the way I'm big big game game of, game of Thrones fan uh, my wife is actually currently reading the books I've only watched the uh, the TV show which is great it's really good do you guys have uh, any series that you really enjoy? Um, I'm really excited too about the new Dune movie. Dune Dos. See how that is. What time is it? Why is it so dark? Not the end of the world. I hope everyone is also staying cool. It's very warm where I'm at. We're almost through August. Just fantastic. Hood. So Lorgan is uh, what I like to call playing a dangerous game by playing both sides, um, the Empire and the Stormcloaks. Uh, he's hedging his bets with the the Empire and we'll see what becomes of that uh, you know his main goal is to spread pestilence disease blight all that fun stuff and uh, he'll do whatever he's got to do to make that happen so um, there's a uh, there's a scene that I, I'm actually probably going to work on later today where... Ooh. What happened over here? A bear? Where? Oh, it's down there. Hugo and... Uh, and uh, Lorian interact a little bit in a humorous way. Them down. No problem. The green fire, it just it just works. I have to thank Joanna for that. A friend of the channel. J17, that's what I call her. Thank you, thank you. Eventually I'm going to I've said this, I sort of half started working on it. 
but it's an episode of how I make characters. I kind of sort mods together. Um, but I always like to keep everything very in line with the character build. So in, in some sense, why couldn't Morgan just be a pyromancer? Because essentially that's what he is. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't really fit the build. You know, I I don't mind being a pyromancer or a cry cryomancer or whatever. Who is shooting at me? Whoa! You know what? We're not dealing with this. And then let's get some, uh... Do some firebolts. Or the change. Oh, smacked him on his head. Come on, man. Leave the target. Go. Bravo. Just smacked him right over his head. Um, also, this isn't a huge spoiler, but there is a modded NPC ca uh, character that is going to be introduced into Gorgon's uh, playthrough. I've never played with this character before. But uh, I'm a, a, excited to do its quest and see. Well, we might we might die. Those Taurus Reapers really do pack a punch. Okay, I'm all turned around. Okay, there it is. Oh, great. Okay, let's jump over. Jumps so far, and I love it. Love his green-looking night vision. And then uh, we need to use this more often. His little bacteria sense, sense all the potential disease in a living body. Did I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf. Shut that off and turn on that guy. Oh, Lorgan wants to kill him. He's not going to. Not because he's a vampire hunter, because he loathes orcs, because orcs are what bullied him the majority of his life. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Mm mm mm. They can't hurt Uncle Frog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Boy, Positions. let's have a little fun first. And stay there until your mother comes. Lorgan would enjoy this. Traitor. See how big Get he is. Yeah. He's quite a bit bigger. You betrayed us. Another name I have for him is the Executioner, and he sure does look like one. Rogbear, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solid. He doesn't deserve this. Let's get this show on the road. While we're waiting, <clears throat> a little prayer to Namira. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. On this day, I go to sun. Off with his head. Alright. Let's go meet with Tolly. So I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen when we do this. I've never done it before. I've heard that you can, though. So, let's see if they'll let us be a turncoat and uh, give the jagged crown to Tolius. I'm fine. Whoops. I'm finding that Skyrim actually does have a lot more options than I thought it than I thought it originally did. I'm telling you. He always played very leaner leanerly. Lean leaner. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. Just gave up on that word. Make it quick. I get enough delays from politicians. How's the war go how goes the war? We will oust Alfred from Windhelm soon enough, 
And when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Boy, I'd like to join the Imperial Legion. What makes you think I'm interested in someone like you for the Legion? I brought you to- Ah ha ha, look at that. You? What? How could you possibly? Oh, so you're trying to play both sides, is that it? What do you really want? I'm a loyalist. I'm here for the Legion. Well, you did show a remarkable initiative, and you didn't have to bring the crown to me. But let me warn you, joining the Legion is for life. Any previous loyalty, I trust we understand each other. You can prove your new allegiance to me by delivering an important message to the Jarl of Whiterun. Fair. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. The Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier, these documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only. It's not a cause. All right. It's a so we Call have been let into the Imperial and Legion. To try to take uh, this is only good for Lorgan. That spell looks dangerous. Um, and if any, uh, if we have some embittered, angry, um, Stormcloaks that want to come after us, well, we'll, we'll uh, kill them. <laughs> Lord, you can take on a couple of Stormcloaks. I don't know what you guys think. Eh, let's take off the little helm and, uh, stay at the end. Only this is where Hugo spent most of his time in uh, the walls of solitude. Now he is out spreading Periite's blessing. <laughs> Welcome. Let me know if you All right. Here Get away from me. That's an appropriate response, well, I think. Deep. Sure thing. It's yours How much for a money day? do we have? Oh, we have a little I'll bit. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Not a ton. Keep your distance. That spell looks like it'll hurt. I think Lorgan. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say he should eat raw meat, but nah, he. It'd be interesting. Does he like putrid few food that's rotten? I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Okay, let's drink. Mmm. Water. Bear this guy is barely human or humanoid. He is uh become more demon than anything. He's he's very supernatural in that way. So let's see what's next on the docket. Next thing is to, uh, what do we want? Um, health. And then, let's see. Can we? Yes. Forward power attacks with the great sword that would leave the target above 60% health deal enough additional damage to make up the difference. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Relax, relax. Chill. Reduce the stamina cost of power attacks. Yes. Uh, Lorian is amazing with his sword, the rotten spike. I kind of envision that I don't per se fully know what what the sword is. We know it's connected to Periite. Uh, in what way? We're we're not sure. He just calls it his rotten spike. But I I kind of think of Lorgan having a relationship with a sword similar to Gollum in Lord of the Rings. Um, that he talks to his sword. Maybe the sword whispers back. I don't know. But he loves this this weapon. 
Okay. Um, okay, so let's work on getting some silver ingots. I've been looking for you. There's a new... Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, for... Or ingots. Ingot. Ingots. For, um... The Periite quest. It's kind of funny, the stuff that you need to be able to spawn Periites. I guess we'll wait in the rain. Let's take out this... Morgan, you need a haircut. Alright. Yeah, if you want to see his neck, you can kind of see the disease radiating all over his body. Alright, um, I wish we could... Um study a spell but we're just gonna worship for an hour by some fire and uh eat there we go You're asking for trouble walking around with have you considered like getting that? out there and fighting let's see looking to protect yourself or deal some damage no silver. No silver. I think there should, might be some silver in here. I think I'll forge me a new sword, just in case things go awry here in solitude. I'm the blacksmith's apprentice, you see. I'll just, uh, set that down right there. And then... Take that. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, Alright, we got our silver. Fantastic. I'm a happy... I'm a happy camper. That's my dad always used to say. Or he still says. He's a ha happy camper. I'm assuming that just means he's happy. Alright, another sip of coffee. Coffee. Actually, now I think about it, there's two modded followers that Lorgan will be getting down the line. One maybe sooner than the other. Uh, both very interesting for Lorgan's story. So we'll see how that all plays out. All right, we need to head deep into the mountains where, uh, I can't remember his name. It's a Khajiit, something the clean. Kind of an ironic name for a worshiper of Periite. Nonetheless, we don't judge. I would like to do some flashback episodes with all the Saga characters, but. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Alright, we'll let you be. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to do some uh, some story for Lorgan about who he was before he found the um, Rotten Spike. What kind of person was he? What he looked like? He did look different. He was, uh, if you look at the first episode, he was sickly and small and uh, how come it's not oh because it's way the freak over there okay he was sickly and small and uh, because the rotten spike saw him uh, the way he found it was uh, he was working as as a a miner, the be best he could, and uh, whoa, the water, what's happening, okay, that's not good, not the end of the world though, okay, oh come on, why can't we jump, 
Okay, I think we're starting to get close to uh, our destination. I think having this mighty leap uh, it allows me to get to places I'm normally never able to get to. Which is kind of cool. Like over here. I think I've been here before, but only like a handful of times. Okay. Status, asset, cooperative, active. Deception. Description, male Bosmer, late thir 30s. Background, Ehelio. Was adopted by the Crimson Dirks at a young age and trained at their hideout in the heartland of Cyrdo. Some, some intelligence says their parents may have been killed by the bandits. That's what the dossier called him. It's a what is this? Okay, looks like we started a quest. All right, might as well read this then. Operation originally identified him as a possible mole due to his background uh, Was fed the information regarding his parents and recruited as an asset in the years following he proved to be a Valuable source of information in identifying bandit groups as well as helping the Imperial City Guard uh, ex expu Expunge expunge the Crimson Dirks from Cyrodiil currently he <laughs> continues to serve both the East Empire Company and the Guard Captain in Skyrim by providing information on fugitives that fled north after the purge. Meeting meetings can be set up by the place, placing a note behind the shrine of Akatosh in solitude. Any additional contact should be arranged through an appropriate channel. Okay. A set asset that that's what the dossier called him it took a while before i got past that word and found a way to my stomach the rest of it sorry at the end at the time i was hurt now i'm just mad it's all started when i killed this officer a lark on a lark it probably wasn't the smartest thing they're like cockroaches you can't kill them all, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't feel good to try. So it wasn't like I knew what he was up to when I confronted him. I didn't expect to find anything useful on his corpse either, but then I found this dossier, and now I know the truth. Uh, Elithir betrayed us, finding the tre uh, treacherous bastard who uh, won't be easy but I've got a plan. The dossier says they arrange meetings with him by placing a note at the Temple of the Divines underneath a vase of the Tundra Cotton. I'll place one there and have to meet at Lost Echo's Cave. Then I'll gut the lying little weasel and show him just how much an asset he really is. Oh, well, let's take this. So when old Icarus plays played Skyrim uh, just for personal time uh, I never ever read that stuff ever um, and being able to read the journals and stuff not being not as if I wasn't able to but uh, now that I've started to uh, it's it makes you know the stories in Skyrim come that much more alive I love it I love it. So I recommend for your games, read the journals. Read the journals. You just gotta slow down a little bit when you're playing. Cause there is a there is a story in Skyrim. And some of them are pretty good. I think one thing though that we do on the Icarus channel is uh, we do exploit and I learned this from uh, Couch Warrior, who is uh a YouTube mentor I've never met, but you were exploiting the fact that 
in Skyrim, there isn't a lot of depth to the story. And uh, that's why I can write in all this you know, extra lore. It's actually kind of a beautiful thing about Skyrim. And, you know, in the beginning, it was something that was annoying. But now it's blessing. What is here? Ooh. What? Okay. Yeah, see, I've never been here. Not really. Okay. There we go. All right, we gotta be getting close. We're not close. Okay. All right, I might just uh, call this an episode and uh, whoa, and then in the next episode, we'll just uh, meander our way to uh, Kosh Clean, I think his name's uh, camp. I thank you guys for all for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon.